We're back in the kitchen. About three hours have passed and the pot of hot water and grease has cooled enough that the grease has formed this hard, almost a lard type <clears throat> layer on the top. So let's, let's see if I can't take the grease out. Yeah, it's cutting. I've taken this knife and cutting around the top of this layer of grease. Now it's free floating in there. And I'm going to take it off and put the grease in here. <clears throat> Back in the container it was in. And I'll reuse it. Sometime. Still a little warm. It's not as hard as usual. It's kind of kind of runny. But hard enough I can take it off the top here. Looks like some dirt and rust and stuff that was in there um, is in the grease. Floated, tried floating to the top of the water and mixed in with the grease, but that'll be all right to reuse it. It doesn't have to be clean. Almost done. And then we'll just have a pot of water. Oops. Ooey. <laughs> oh, excuse me. My wife's calling from the other room. Yes, dear. Yes, I'm in the kitchen. Oh, no, dear. I wouldn't be cooking grease, diamond grease, on the stove again. Yes, dear. Yes, I remember you told me not to ever do that again because it makes a mess in the kitchen. No, no, I'd never, never even think of doing that again. I'll clean it up real good so there's no trace that I was ever in here. Or it'll be my hide. I'm just kidding. She's not in the other room and she never told me not to do this. But most wives wouldn't be real thrilled about you doing this. Especially not with the pot she cooks the spaghetti noodles in or something. I wouldn't care for it either. Spaghetti tastes a little funny. Okay, now I want to get all the grease off the side here because I'm going to pour the water. And if there was grease on the side and I poured the water with the diamonds in it, it would work like a grease table and catch the diamonds in the grease on the side. So I need at least one clean side for pouring. It looks like this side over here is going to be it. I don't have to get this real clean because I'll use this for grease again. Cook another batch of my delicious recipe. Alright, I'm going to quit messing with that call that good. Basically, I just have a pot of warm water and some gravel and rust and stuff in the bottom. Let me move the camera over here to my next point of interest. I've got a five gallon bucket. There's a thousand and one uses for a five gallon bucket and a real fine mesh screen because these are small diamonds. So the water goes through and the rust and the gravel and the diamonds are caught by the screen. Now I will wash this out real good but you get the idea
So <clears throat> any diamonds will be right in that. Then what I will do out of this, I've got <clears throat> I've got a cookie sheet here, and I want this to dry on the cookie sheet. So I'm going to flip the Soruka. And that's what I, I reduced 10 gallons of gravel down to that. I'll spread that out, let it dry, put it in the sun then take a magnifying light and go through that and the diamond should be in it. So a grease table is pretty nice in reducing the volume down to just a little bit you have to sort. Instead of looking through 10 gallons of gravel, I'm going to look through a quarter cup of gravel. So That's the advantage of a grease table and why I mess with it and risk messing up the kitchen. <clears throat>